Down here, I'm on the Tennessee River. It's winter time. Bridges are a great spot to be in the winter time. There's a lot of bait fish. It's a funneling area. You got a lot of game fish, bass, crappie, everything. So I figure it's an awesome spot to get to know my brand new Lowrance Active Target Transducer. And this is forward looking, live technology off the trolling motor. I figure now is a great time to do, explain just the basics of what you're looking at with the Active Target. Since myself, I'm just getting to know it too. All Active Target is is a forward looking live version of Transducer where you're actually shooting in front of you or whichever way you want to look and it goes off of the trolling motor. So the direction the trolling motor is going is going to be the direction that you're shooting off the head. So right here is just the Transducer, this is the actual Active Target. Uh, you can actually change that around three different ways, looking down, looking more at a structure style or using how we're doing in this video, looking straight out. Uh, just live technology straight in the direction that I want to see. Uh, so this transducer just mounts here on the shaft of my Ghost, uh, comes up and plugging into this front Lowrance HDS 12 unit. Again, this is compatible with many different Lowrance units. Uh, I'm using a 12 and just for familiarity, the front, this top part here is actual what we're looking at active target wise. This is looking out straight at a vertical sonar presentation, vertical scan, not, not horizontal, looking vertically in the direction that I'm looking. And then here on the bottom, I'm just kind of hijacking my back unit, my structure scan, uh, so I can also see after the side of the boat. So that's how we're looking. And the first thing we gotta do is dump the transducer in the water. All right, first impression, you know, I just dumped it in. Uh, you can see here the direction that the arrow is going. That's the direction I would be going on my trolling motor if I was hitting the forward, you know, to move around on my trolling motor. It's also the direction that the active target transducer is aiming. So right now we're shooting straight out. If you look ahead, we actually have a big rip wrap or along a rip wrap bridge right here. So we're shooting out. You can see the direction that this is coming. We're aiming out this way, which also matches the direction that it's looking forward, it's coming down. As I turn the image this way, now we're looking uphill. Okay, so as I pull us off here and swing this, you can see fish already, but swing this back, it's showing that at 20 feet is the bank, which is about perfectly right from where we are off the thing. As I pull away and get us away from this and then turn it and look back at the bank, now you're seeing the bank get further and further away as we're pulling away from it. Again, I spin it this way, and we're looking out away from the bank, back this way, we're back looking at the bank. And my range so far is just, is, is just awesome. And you can see fish right here. That's a fish just off the rocks. It looks like there's one down here. You know, we're moving, so we're trying to stay with them. But I can just kind of move this thing around Try to make it go parallel. There goes a fish right there. Look at him. Look at that. That is just awesome. He's gonna come right underneath the trolling motor, or right underneath our trolling motor, it looks like. All right, for this, I'm just gonna use a 3A Sounds Outcast Tackle, a Goldeneye Swimmer Head with a small Biospawn Exo Swimmer. White, you know, it's just, it's shad. There's a lot of shad around here. But again, the point is, I wanna see the bait on the active target. What does that look like? Uh, for that, I'm gonna point it away from the actual riprap now. I don't want all the in interference for right now. Again, this is a beginning video and it's my first time using it. So I wanna first make sure I know what I'm looking at and then I can actually see my bait on the actual unit. All right, it's the first try to pick this up. I'm just going to do a pitch it about 20 feet and watch for it. There it went right there. So let me try to make a better cast and let's just see when we can. That's a big old cast out there. Watch for it. Oh, I can see it way out there. 50, 60 feet. That's my bait falling to the bottom. Now it's on the bottom. Lift it up. Drop it back down. Lift it up. There it is. Oh, that's sick. Real time, live. This is, I mean, I haven't even played with a setting yet, so let's try to look at it under a different, sort of more options. Let's change the palette. Let's go to this pout. See if that whitens it up at all. Maybe that image. Let's see if that doesn't help us even pick it up even better. First, I'm gonna go with a 20. 
So right here, here's where the transducer is. Here is 20 feet. That's the length of a bass boat away. So I'm just gonna do a little 20 foot pitch. Let it fall. And we picked it up right away. I mean, that is real time. All the way to the bottom. It's on the bottom. Now I can lift it up. Looks like there's a fish there following, looking at it. The stealthiness of this ghost trolling motor is insane. Just dirt quiet, just dirty quiet, and it just, it's fast. Right there. See here, the bank is coming up. As I shine this, as I spin around, now we're hitting the deeper water here. We're shooting in between the riprap and the bridge piling. And there we're catching the bridge piling. There we're on the bridge piling right there. Look at all the bait that's on the bridge piling. Look, this is a bunch of crappie right there. You can see the actual piling right here. Your crappie are all up on it. You know, it's still winter, it's cold, it's only 47 degree water. But you got birds all around us eating shad. It's showing you the shad on the piling. You get some fish out here, crappie along that. And it's all what we're seeing out in front of us. Not underneath us, out in front, live. This, this kind of technology helps in so many different forms of fishing, from musky fishing to obviously bass fishing. There you can see my bait again. You know what, let's try to do something here. Let's try to bring this forward range into 60. All right. So now we're already shining right here at about 60 feet. We have this bridge piling right here. So if I move the arrow, I can really dial in where that bridge piling's at. Now I'm shining it right there, right? If we had active bass around here, they could be moving all that, like the birds are eating all the shad that are in here. You can see the crop, your shad lined up on that, and you can see how it vertically comes up. Now I can just make my cast at it. And then with my bait right there right into those fish. Like you can see all the bottom of the bridge like that. Seriously, the benefits of forward-looking sonar, uh, the new Lowrance Active Target. You got to see my first look at it. My initial impressions are awesome. Everything that I thought it was gonna be, I really can't wait to actually get out there, do some real fishing and put it to good use. Everyday use and just get better with it. But it's definitely the future of fishing. I encourage you all to check it out. Lowrance Active Target, forward-looking live sonar.